Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMP Self Paced Paper MCQs. We are doing a chapter of standard costing. We are going to be trying to be bringing one MCQ on a daily basis but with logic. So if your that chapter is over, then in that case you can start to be solving them. Now these videos will be of use to you if you comment before I say the answer with the logic. That will help you to remember also that you had answered it correctly. So let's do this. The question is like this. Variances which arise because of inaccurate or faulty standards. It is not within the control of the management and they should not be held responsible. This variance is. Now the four options. Planning variance. Okay. B is operational variance, C is labor variance, and D is efficiency variance. Okay, let's try to look at the correct answer. I don't think so. C or D makes any sense because these are only names of the variances. Okay, among the first two, first of all, you all should be knowing what do you mean by planning variances? What do you mean by operational variances? Let's try to study them. So, Think it off. I'm trying to talk of material variances. Okay. On the first day, the company set the standard price of raw material. That was rupees 4. They set it up as rupees 4. On the first day, they thought that uh, 4 rupees will be a good standard. But then in the market, there was great shortage of raw material as a result of which the price in the market increased to rupees 7. Okay. This information I'm giving you extra. Our purchase manager negotiated in a beautiful way with the suppliers and got the supplier who was closest to our factory. So transportation cost was also less and ultimately he managed to purchase a raw material at the rate of rupees 6. Do you think so that the purchase manager did a good job in purchasing the raw materials? His variance will be adverse or favorable. Let's try to explore this. Now, if I was in CA Inter and if I was trying to be thinking about, sir, what will be the material price for us? Then we have learned this thing. Standards are set on the first day. On the first day, the standard that was set was rupees 4. But on the last day, the actual was revealed to us. That was rupees 6. So therefore, your material price variance will be too adverse. This is also called as traditional way of calculation of variance. Now think yourself. Are you correct in holding the purchase manager responsible for paying 2 rupees extra? I don't think so. Because this standard that was set was actually faulty. In fact, from 4 rupees, it increased to 7 rupees, not because of the mistake of the purchase manager. But then this was the increase that happened in any case because of the market movements. So therefore, we say that the difference between this standard that was wrong standard and the correct standard that should have been made. That was nothing but the planning variances. Planning variances are not in the hands of the manager. So therefore they should not be held responsible. They should not be charged for this. This part in this case was three adverse that is four minus seven. But then the part that purchase manager is responsible. He should have purchased the raw materials at what price here? Seven rupees, not four, seven rupees. He purchased it at what price here? 6 rupees. So therefore, he has done a fantastic job and saved 1 rupee for the company. So therefore, this will be 1 favorable. This part is operational variance, also called as controllable variance. A manager should be only charged for this. Whereas in this case, this variance is called as uncontrollable variance or planning variances. And no manager should be made responsible for this because this is due to the market movements. Traditional way of calculating any variance is to ignore any changes that happened in the entire year. But that is wrong. We should try to be considering those changes and only blame the manager for the part that he is responsible. So therefore, the question was something like this. Which variance is not in the hands of the management? So therefore, answer should be A over here, planning variance. Let's try to see the correct answer. So the correct answer in this case should be A, that is nothing but the planning variance. Thank you.